Today we're tasting scoops of international soups. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There's a reason why soup is considered comfort food. It's as warm as your mother's loving embrace. It's mm. as filling as time spent with good friends. <sighs> and you don't need to worry about having teeth to eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but how much can you tell about a place based on what's in its soup? Today, we're gonna be slurping soups to see if we can guess which international ladle ladled them. It's time for Where in the World Do, do These International, international soups, soups Come From? All right, you know how this works when we're tasting some soups right here that come from places all over there around the globe. And then we're gonna guess where the soups came from by throwing a dart at our trusty map over here where Chase the cartographer is exasperated. Okay, the person with the lowest score when at I heard the end you wins a very valuable briefcase full of gold. What, can we do that? Season 17, what? Yeah. Okay, since I won last time we played this. We rich. Uh, Link gets <laughs> the special advantage dart, which is a lots of matzo dart. That's three matzo balls to be thrown at the board with just one hand. Let's get to slurping. What in the world do we have here? It's purple soup. Is that apples? I. There's like sliced fruits. It kind of tastes like something that we would do in like a episode where we made something into soup that wasn't supposed to be soup. Like ice cream turned into soup. Right, but somebody somewhere on this map actually does this. Okay, where do they make a sweet soup that's kind of like melted yogurt? You ever been to New Caledonia or is it New Caledonia? Caledonia. Caledonia. That's way over there, I think you should go for it. I know nothing about New Caledonia. Uh, there's sort of a cluster of answers in the middle of the board. I could just play it safe and kind of aim for like Morocco and hope for the best. Okay. Which is what I'm gonna do. All right, he's going for the center of the board because he's a coward. Coward, yes. Um, now, you may not have picked up on this, but Rhett, that's goat's milk in there. Uh, which is very popular in Ghana. So I am aiming for Ghana. Well, it's pretty close to where I was. Oh, oh yeah, look at me, yeah, it's a new year, it's a new me. What is this, Stevie, besides goat's milk? You just tried fruit soup, a hot, creamy soup made with apples, sour cherries, vanilla, cream, cloves, and lemon zest, no goat's milk. No goat's milk. <laughs> it can also be enjoyed chilled. Fruit soup is from Hungary. Oh, oh you hey, fucking hey, dog! Hey, aim for the middle, hope for the best. Get hungry and hungry, y'all. All right, Rhett, you had five, and Link, you had 12. Right. Hey, it's not a bad start for either either, either boy. <laughs> we got a thick soup, some sort of gravy consistency. There's like, is that a potato or a lots, cauliflower? Lots of lumps, and then this big thing. What is in lumps? Okay, I know what meat that is. You'll probably know as soon as you bite it. Well, mine was bread. Oh, no, it's coated. It's coated in bread. There it is, there's some meat. Mm. mm. This is a hearty dish. But not from Hardee's. Hold on, that meat is very gamey. I'm not gonna say what I know about that meat. That's a tough meat for me to eat. You know what, I'm just gonna say what it is. It's, goat! It's lamb. Oh. It might be goat, because lamb and goat do taste similar, but I have more experience with lamb. And I know that there are more sheep than people in My New goat. Zealand. Oh. New Zealand. Which is not too far from New Caledonia. Go for it. Now don't go off the board. I'm not going for New Caledonia. Might hit Kiko. But when I think Mongolia, I think like like if you get like a Mongolian soup, it usually is more clear and less creamy. Like, but that's, you know, I don't know. This has been translated to American food, so I probably don't have an accurate representation. At a certain point, you gotta stop talking and start darting. I'm going Morocco. Again. Man. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. You did not hit Morocco. My aim is on today. You got really close. Now, is that goat? Because I'm going back to Ghana if it is. <laughs> no, going you know back to Ghana. You know what, I feel I feel like this is mountain goat soup. Like Peru or Mongolia? Mongolia. I think that's a good guess, man. I was there with you. But so, what about New Caledonia? In order to even things up, well you know what, I'm not a coward. I'm going straight for Mongolia. Oh, oh, a little low. What's okay. up, Stevie? This soup is called Banshtay Tse, 
a soup with a salty milk tea broth and dumplings that are traditionally t- traditionally filled with mutton. So you're correct. It's from Mongolia. Ah, yeah, yeah. You're right. But I just couldn't nail it. But you, you made up a lot of ground. All right, Rhett, you had 33, and Link, you had nine. Pull in here. I believe this is the spoon, Link. Oh, we don't get spoons with this, we just get like a big thing of bread. That bread is mushy and, and inviting. There is no spoon. There is and no it, spoon. So, it, this is f- fish. Is that fish? Oh, this smells good, it's a peanut sauce. It, it, it was very fishy tasting. So it's like the soup has fish cooked in it and around it. <laughs> I mean, th- there's enough peanut butter that makes me not try absolutely Try the fish, hate it. man. Oh, try the actual fish. Yeah, that's tough. Peanut sauce. Hmm. What is that? I do like that bread, though. Fish and peanut. Well, that's something I'm used to. Well, okay. Now, peanut sauce. I mean, I definitely think of Thailand, uh, which is not an option. I don't know, I, I don't feel, you know what? I'm just gonna go for Thailand, even though it's not an option. I like it. I like the strategy. All right. I've been there, ate a lot of peanut sauce. There we go. Aim, aim for the country that's not available. Yeah, well, I hit China, but whatever, and I'm not gonna get in your way, so. Uh, yeah, because I'm so far behind, I've gotta make a big move, because you've got the advantage at the end. So, um, I don't know anything about peanut sauce and where it comes from, other than Thailand, which you already threw a, a dart at. And so yeah, I'm, I'm not- I've yeah, staked my claim. I don't wanna throw a dart at the same place you did, but I'm going solely off the fact that there was no spoon offered, but yet a bread utensil. And I know that this is the kind of thing that happens in Africa. Because I've been to an African restaurant one time and they don't give you anything. They just put everything on top of a giant pancake. Piece of bread. And then you eat it with the bread. Oh, you so think eating in Ghana? With bread is either Ghana or Morocco, but I'm gonna go for Ghana. Oh gosh, you know what? I think that's good reasoning, man. And it's right there on the coast where all the fishes swim up and they get into peanut butter. Yep, yep, right, yep. Okay, you just ate ground nut soup or peanut soup with tilapia and fufu. Ground nut soup is made from a peanut butter-like paste which is added to a base of tomatoes and water and the fufu is made from boiled cassava. Ground nut soup is a favorite in Ghana. Ghana! Hey man, I gotta give it to you. Woo! I didn't throw a great throw though. I should've gotten closer. Yeah, Link, you had 31 and Rhett, you had eight. Oh, oh, woo, okay. I think I closed the gap. Well, we've got some sort of green floaty stuff in in a in a milk dink it. It doesn't smell good. It's like spinachy. It's not bad. Maybe asparagusy. Now you have slightly pulled ahead, which means you've got a dart first. I don't. I don't dislike this. I feel like there's a little health in it. There's a little slurpiness in it, and it's it's, it's not bad. Uh, I, okay, I gotta really think game strategy here, because going into the final round, you're gonna have the matzo ball, and the splatter is gonna give you, basically, probably, almost guaranteed a right answer. Mm-hmm. So I can't play it safe. I have to be bold. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Do you think that they put New Chalcedonia Falkland Islands on there just to screw with us. I see where you're going with this. I think they put one on there because it is the correct answer for one of them. And they were like, hmm, let's do something else, like a, another island nation on the other side of the world. You think they got time to think this on? <laughs> oh no, they're trying to trick us constantly. It's their mission in life, to make us look like fools. I would think if it was from one of the islands, it would be like a fishy dish. Oh man, oh gosh, I have to make a choice. Something about the creaminess is making me think Norway. I don't feel good about it though. I don't feel good about this guess at all but I'm just going on instinct, Norway. Speaking of going on instinct, I just feel like Falkland Islands is on there just to Falkland Islands with us. Because they wanted to hear us say Falkland Islands? But yes, but New Caledonia is where this came from. Now if you, okay, if you miss the board, you automatically get 50 centimeters and you're basically handing me the game. So don't miss. I ain't gonna miss this Don't board. go wide right. I'm not missing the board. Don't go wide right. Just stop making me nervous. <laughs> yeah, don't make him nervous. Just concentrate. 
Oh, a little, a little high. Uh, Steamy. Okay. This is called lettuce soup. It's made of lettuce leaves, flour, onion, and chicken stock. Lettuce soup is enjoyed by the people of a small group of islands, specifically the Falkland Islands. <laughs> no! Falkland Way! Oh, man! No! I got so lucky. All right, Rhett, you had 49, and Link, you had 75. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a chance. I got a chance. We got a watery suit with some sort of beans floating. That in is it. not a bean, brother. Oh. Get a load of that bean. Why don't you, why don't you put that bean in your oh, mouth and no. crunch? It's a little trilobite. You got a trilobite soup happening? It's something in the larval stage. Oh my gosh. All right. Enjoy. It's not bad. It's spicy. It Crunchy. Is, it is spicy. I've had worse soups. You ever been a soup plantation? <laughs> Speaking of worse soup, yeah, <laughs> I've had worse soups at soup plantation, and they're our sponsor today. <laughs> um, oh, uh, I, di I didn't, I didn't love the thought of that. Now, okay, again, this is all, it all comes down to strategy. Thirty-two centimeters difference. What what we've learned is that thirty-two centimeters seems like a big lead until it is erased by three matzo balls that are splattered onto the board. So I can't just do the safe play and just guess in the middle. Yeah. I know that in South America, they do eat bugs in things from time to time. I can see this happening maybe in Morocco, mm. but I'm leaning more towards Peru. But again, the wild card is New Caledonia. And if New Caledonia is the correct answer and I go for Peru, I'm basically handing you the game. Yeah, maybe, they, maybe in that little island, they don't have a lot of big creatures roaming around, they just got little crawlies. Why do they have New Caledonia on this map? Is it to throw us off or is it because it is the correct answer? These are the questions that will keep me up tonight. Well, actually, I'll know the answer in a second. <laughs> <laughs> this decision will keep me up tonight if I am wrong. Okay, I'm gonna hedge my bet since there's two reasonable guesses on the left side of the board, so I'm gonna just go kind of in the Atlantic Ocean between Peru and Morocco. All right. Oh, okay, you've aimed at what you intended, and I have soaked these on multiple sides. Boy, that looks like it could really stain. Um, I don't know, I actually think this is also the Falkland Islands. I think they've doubled up. <laughs> you think they went double Falkland? Falkland twice. Did you guys go double Falkland? You know what they say, once you Falkland Island. <laughs> you got a Falkland again. Okay, um, I get to use one hand to get all three of these going. What are you gonna do? What's your strategy here? I'm gonna go for your, your dart in order to insulate my guess. And then maybe splatter towards Caldonia? Why you want me to do that? Well, because the only way to beat me at this point is to me to not be right and it to be on the right side of the board. Why uh, am I giving you tips? No, it, what, if, what if it's Peru? If it's Peru, you can't win because I'm definitely not 30 whatever centimeters away from Peru. All right, here we go. Good. Chase, can you hold this bowl? Oh, sure. Three. Two. I think one of them went in my trash can. I think my dart went in your trash can. <laughs> yeah, the dart fell. Okay, so so I've gone all around your darts and your dart fell out. You I do remember where my dart was, if that's any consolation. It's yeah. right there. Okay. Okay, Stevie. We know these are larvae of some sort. You just ate silkworm soup made from silkworms. Uh, it's a delicacy in South Korea. Yeah. Oh Silkworm. Oh, 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 All right. Link, you had 27. Rhett, you had 46. That's less than 30 whatever, which means I retain the title. You, Woo! you did it. Thank you, silkworms. Just barely, and, and we, didn't, we didn't know these are silkworms. That would've helped a lot. Oh, you know what I won? I won a briefcase full of gold. Gold bullion. Oh. It's, it's beef bullion. <laughs> I love beef bullion. You ever been to Soup Plantation? <laughs> Not a sponsor, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm CZ from More Door Malaysia. I made this fanfic for you guys. What we thought about Malaysians are either way, and you know what? Let's talk about that. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality! <laughs> Love that! Thank you for that. Click the top link to watch us try dill pickle soup from Poland and go mythical mold. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Keep us close to your heart with our mythical necklaces. Available now at mythical.com.